Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing and install on my car. This is a hitch rack for electric bicycles. Why electric bicycle need different hitch rack? We'll talk about this as well. Uh, first, it's not a regular one. It does have a lift. So it will help you to lift your bicycle on the rack. Because many people buy the electric bicycle. They think it's cool. But when they start to lift it, it's usual weight about 60 to 80 pounds on average. Any fat tire bikes usually above 60 pounds. So this one is a, a Hyperox Volt Lift. It is like a heavy duty actually rack. This is the reason I picked this one. First part you would insert this uh, hitch inside over here. And this part actually for lining. So the next time when you try to insert this uh, pin, it will be already aligned. So you don't have to guessing where the hole inside which I do right now. I already aligned this piece and it tighten up. So basically it's a tool to align with the pin and then you just screw in this bolt on the right side. So the pin going from the right hand side and once you tighten with your hand, you'll use this torque tool and you would uh, probably, it's up to 60 new meters, that's what it says. Tighten this one up with the tool, okay. And once you tighten this up, you have a lock, which going uh, over here is a key inserted when you need to unlock to remove it, but it's going from the side and it's automatically should be locking in when you push in like this. So it's push in and then when you need to open, you just slide it down and open. Install it and let's see if it's shaking or not. I can actually basically step on it it does not really move at all next step when you try to attach this part right over here you would need two bolts and you probably will not show which one and it's easy to figure out so there's two long one 150 millimeter and there's two shorter one 127 millimeters you'll see some difference so 127 millimeters going right over here and they are inserted from the right side uh, you remove one washer from one side, bring this one all the way up over here. Then you would align the holes. Let me show the holes matching, and you would insert from the right side. And you do the same thing with the second one. You just insert it right over here. I didn't completely insert it yet, but you would insert all right so this one is inserted now and so you will just play a little bit to insert inside right over here it looks like this one almost there all right and now you would attach the washer from one side from this side as well and retighten with the tools and you do this for both sides. Next step, you would attach with this two bolts right over here, tighten with the Allen key, and you do it on the both sides. I'll show you how to do it. So you take this part and insert right over here, like this. And then you would attach with these two bolts let me show close up the bolt so you know which one, like this one, with this type of head. And you just insert it. Use this 5 millimeter Allen key to tighten them up until completely tighten. So now let me show you how to attach the ramp. So I already attached one and I'll explain to you how you do it first. So there's a hooks over here, same thing on this side. So first you would need to rem open the ramp by pulling this plug. It's hard to do with one hand. So you pull it. So this way it will open up to hook up the hook. So when you place it in, then you can close this. So it will hold in place. Then you put over here from this side actually 
the same bolt which is I believe 150 millimeters you just insert it from one side washer and from another side and tighten up and that's how it stay really easy to use looks like really easy to use so once you pull it out you can easily go down like a ramp to put your bicycle up and then when you need to go back up you just push it and it will lock it in and it will stay in place so it will not open up so i will install this one and also the first one comes with no logo over here the second one you will see logo hyperx right over here so this is the second one gonna be installed ramp and you do the same installation as the first one the next step you take 60 millimeter bolt you put first the washer and then you put this wire which attach this pin and you take this part insert it like this match it align and then you would attach washer first on this side and also the nut all the nuts come with a locking so you don't have to worry to lose them so once you tighten them up so use the allen key and this wrench to tighten this up so when you want to pull, bring it up you just insert right over here on this side the pin and from another side you just lock it and it stay pretty well come with two hooks a longer one and shorter so the longer one insert it first this way you do need a key if it's locked like this so you just push it down the longer one and here's the shorter one so you also just push it down and if you want to lock it you just push it and we'll lock it in and you need to have a key to open it so make sure you have a key with you and you just close this so nobody can remove the bicycle from the rack as well so we'll lock it in and then to insert the bicycle to put the bicycle on the ramp you just need to pull this pin and turn to the let's see which side or you just need to push it down turn this way once you bicycle in you bring it up and close it so it should be pretty simple and this one is going up and down and here's why they call it a volt lift so basically you pull out this you push it out and then pull it out actually and pull out it will drop here so it will help you to lift your bicycle let me show you how so you just bring all the way up like this make sure it's aligned on the tram the pedals just move back a little bit and let's see if i can move with this one up up like this so I'll push it down and over here the ramp just push it until it's closed completely once it's closed you cannot move up and down and now the bicycle will stay there you have different harness to attach the wheel over here the front and they give you some few more security like um, uh, to attach it also they give you a lock and this piece the hook can be also locked on the side so nobody can remove the bicycle as well and this is a vault lift and you remove the same way you basically open up like this pull it and then remove the hook let's see if it will work like this and just push over here to lift it up and just move the bicycle down
All right, so it works. And if you're not using it, you just bring it all up, closes, and you can also low down this piece by dropping, let's see, you remove the pin, and it will drop right here. And then you can insert the pin so it will be locked in, so it will not be go up and down anywhere. You just need to wiggle a little bit. And that's it. You can also raise it up if you want to, but you need to unscrew the one of the bolts. And that's how it works. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.